Hey guys and welcome to the Watchtower Watch Reviews with your host DK and we are back with another unboxing and this is the first unboxing I think in the new studio so it won't look much different because you won't see anything around the place but trust me when I say it is the new studio uh, I was having a look on uh, an Irish advert website uh, adverts.ie uh, it does second hand stuff it does people just selling things sort of like uh, Gumtree or you know any of the other ones that you have uh, I don't know what the UK use, I actually can't remember. Gumtree or... The UK use Gumtree, yeah. Like, the same thing, idea as Facebook ads or any of those, basically. And uh, I decided I was going to get on to a guy about a couple of different watches. And he did me a deal. And I picked up three. Three from him, I think. And another one from another seller. For about 120 quid. Because I'm always looking for stock to supply. Okay, so we are into the box at least. And the first one is a swatch. So I actually don't own a single swatch and I saw this one and I thought, ah, a swatch chrono. How bad can you get? Now, it's in the original box and I wouldn't mind, but it actually looks like it's in good nick as well. Doesn't look to be any scratches. The strap doesn't even really look worn. Now the battery is dead, I believe. Yep dead as a doornail and the chrono hands don't look like they're matched up but that should be an easy enough fix and yeah so aluminium patented water resistant four joules battery uh i could just get a battery for that that should be easy enough to sort out but yeah my first swatch uh i went for this one because i just thought it was interesting i'll chuck it on wrist so you get a look at it so i'm just chucking it on the right wrist because i already have a watch on the left i just couldn't be bothered taking it off you know, kind of UFO look to it, I think. Slightly uh, unusual design. Quite bubbly. You can see very thick there. Uh, but a very comfortable strap, actually. Which is good because Swatch use these weird integrated straps. So they're kind of a pin in the ass to replace. But uh, not a bad little pickup for what is basically the equivalent of about 30 quid. So, can't really argue there. What else have we got? We have got... Oh, yeah, the Didden or Didoon or... <laughs> if you're uh, familiar with Netflix, maybe that's what they named it after, the didan. Yeah, who knows? Anyway, let's take a look at what we have, and it is, Jesus, it's really heavy. Uh, there's an extra link included there, and apparently this is an automatic, and I have zero idea how to read it. I think that's upside down. Don't know if it's running. Double pusher bracelet, you can see here, it's really heavy, I'm actually surprised. Okay, yeah, it is an automatic. Could be Myota. 30 meters water resistance, big chunky thing. Let's see. Okay, it's got a screw down. Let's see if my camera will focus on this and cop itself on, because this is a weird looking yoke. a good wind up anyway and if you look in nice and close camera focus camera's got ADHD and that it won't focus you can see does it need a wipe or what's the story why is it so hard to get this to be seen there we go so if you just see there in the center you have that little almost ferris wheel thing turning around that is your second hand you've got your hour and your minute there I don't believe this thing has a date or anything like that on it put it out once Okay, there is a ghost date position. Pull it out a second time. Second hand stops. And you can see that, oh, that's really annoying. The minute hand is internal and the hour hand is on the outside. I'd prefer it the other way around. So, what time is it now? 25 to 1. And it'll go backwards. So, 1. Ooh. Cable just snapped there on me. 25 to 1. And that is the time for that. So keep an eye out for a review of a very weird watch. If nothing else, pretty cool case shape on this one. Might rip it apart. Might put a new dial on it if that is a Miyota because they're easy enough to get dials for. And next up is this. And I'm trying to remember what this is. Oh yeah, so it's a Paranus. So... 
Uh, Watchers with George actually brought this one to my attention. Uh, I'm probably going to end up giving it to George or selling it to George or doing whatever, swapping it with George because he might want this one afterwards. But it is a Rolex Milgauss Amash. Uh, sorry, excuse me. ADHD camera will not focus. There we go. So it's one in green. Now, I would have preferred if that green hand was orange, that second hand. But it features a Miyota movement inside. I believe it's the, I think it's the 8215. I'm not too sure. But it's one of the spinny spinnies anyway. Let me just check if I can hear it. One second. Don't know if you guys picked that up from my lapel mic. You might have done. And this one looks a bit dirty, so I'll just give it a quick brush. Not a bad little piece, in fairness. It should wear pretty well. Let's chuck this one on, see how we're going. Uh, no, actually, I've had one Parnas, I think. That was my all my experiences with Parnas. Only had the one. Bracelet's actually not bad. Uh, kind of heard that these were a bit shocking. I know the water resistance is pretty much 30 meters on all of these. Clasp is pretty cool, if a little bit big. Does it have any special things like a diver's extension? No, it doesn't. Three levels of micro adjust, push pull or push button clasp, parnish signed. Uh, you got that nice bit of um, oh god, what did it call those? Oh, there's a thing for it. I also think there's like fish scale, fish, fish scale design. Easy for me to say. Uh, high polish side to the case. Mm, is that dirty or scratched? I can't tell. This is a second hand watch. Yeah, a couple of little scuffs and scrapes, but nothing excessive. You got your Parnas P on the crown there. If my camera would focus, there we go. And yeah, just a quick unboxing for you guys of all three. There will, of course, be detailed reviews on these coming down the line. But, you know, something different and a bit of content for your morning coffee for you guys to watch with. Hopefully you've enjoyed that multi-unboxing. I must go back to work and do my actual day job. I have been your host, DK. This has been the Watch Tower Watch Reviews. These have been my three... Come back here. Three newest pickups for you guys for your perusal. I uh, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.